Hello guys and welcome back to episode 95 of our Glory Hunter career mode currently here with Nottingham Forest where we return today with five big fixtures in the Premier League with Liverpool keeping chase with us at the top of the table and our Carabao Cup semi-final away at St James's Park against Newcastle. So in the previous episode, you saw the two brilliant victories, both from a goal down against Manchester United and Spurs. So we continue our Premier League fixtures today with uh, five easier games on paper. But as we know, there are no easy games in the Premier League. And then sandwiched in between that uh, Carabao Cup semi-final against Newcastle. So let's jump into our first game. It's Watford away at Vicarage Road. So Watford having a pretty good season so far, 14 games in, sat just outside the European places and I'm excited to get back into things with this exciting and unique Nottingham Forest setup. We're like the modern day Pep Guardiola with our, our new system that we're using here at Forest. We're getting Watford camped in their own penalty area as we do so often sustaining our attacks and keeping teams penned in. Here is Brennan Johnson into Joseph on the edge. Let's fly. And it's a good save from the Watford keeper. This is the pattern of most games in the Premier League this year. Forrest have been dominant and we're looking for another three points in our title march this season. Corner swung in by Brennan looking for Carrie Madiemi. It's a brilliant header. And Kareem, who's having a brilliant season, gives us the lead here at Vicarage Road. Well, we've been so fluid this year in our attacking system as we look to come forward again. Brennan Johnson, now Kareem, Joseph, and now Kefren Turam. Oh, it's a brilliant second. And just as I was saying, we've been so fluid. Kefren Turam, who's been so vital in this system, in that more advanced box-to-box -box role, notches up another goal in the Premier League this year. And we look set for the three points already here. Brian does superbly well and now can bring it forward. Doesn't get a chance to get over the halfway line too often. Finds Kareem Adeyemi. Burst of pace from him. Joseph in the middle and it's three. And it's a brilliant third as well. From back to front in a matter of seconds and Joseph our main man makes it three and this game's already done Kefren wins it back and we've been all over Watford like a rash in this one Brennan on the run what a ball by Kefren Turam and it's four and Nottingham Forest are just running riot here at Vicarage Road brilliant ball by Kefren weighted perfectly and it's 4-0 with four different goal scorers and Brennan the captain now gets in on the act. Brennan high press and wins the ball back. Brennan now back to Kareem Adeyemi. I see Joseph at the back stick. It's a wicked ball by Kareem. And we start the second half just as we ended the first. We've been so dominant. And Joseph gets his second of the day, and it's five. Tell you what, my one gripe now will be if we concede a goal. We've been so good. It's been the best performance of the season, and I'll be really pissed off if we don't top it off with a clean sheet. Cheerwell getting forward down at the left-hand side. Has Brennan inside in support. Now Brennan. Cheerwell looking for it back over the top. Down the left-hand side. Across to Joseph. And it's the easiest hat-trick Joseph will score all season. 6-0. Chilwell into Kenneth Taylor. Loads of space for the Dutchman. As Morgan Gibbs-White in support. And now on out Cali Muendo for seven. Just come off the bench. First touch. Out of his feet. And then rifles one into the top corner. Well, that will do it. There's the full-time whistle. And what a display from Nottingham Forest. By far our best performance of the season and the scoreline reflected that. 7-0 away at a Watford side who have been doing well this season. Just shows how dominant we have been. A brilliant victory to start off the episode and we will push on into our remaining four fixtures. All right, so we've now got three Premier League games in the space of a week before our Carabao Cup 
quarter-final. So this is going to be a little bit of a test of our squad here. Of course, still currently unbeaten in our first 15 games in the Premier League. But with no European football, we've not really uh, had to stretch the squad too much. This might be the first time that we have to, as Joseph has the first effort of the game. We've also got a strong side though with some strong players and on their first attack of the game it's Brendan Aronson, the United States international who opens the scoring and again as we did against Manchester United and against Tottenham we find ourselves a goal down at the city ground. Long ball forward, Doku does well, Ilanga pokes it through and Aronson beats Mendes at his near post. How Torres can't quite get there, but now does get the foot in. And now Forrest look to come forward. Brennan got it a little bit stuck under his feet, but does get it out to Luis Diaz. Brennan once again in support. This time, can Johnson finish? He's denied by a good save by Sarkic. Ziegler coming forward down the left, bursting into the space. And still going here, Carl Ziegler. Brilliant run by the fullback. And Ziegler looking to go all the way is once again denied a brilliant goal by Sarkic. Johnson swings the corner and again looking for Pau Torres and his header again put over the top by the Wolves keeper. Corners in, Johnson, he's not going to stop that one. And Brennan does it again and gets us back on level terms. An important goal just before the break as we look to maintain our unbeaten start. And the captain starting to step up when it matters. Ball in by Kareem. Johnson attacks it. And Sarkic this time can't keep it out. Eight for the year for Brennan and we're back level. And Godfrey does well to intercept. Now can we spring on the attack? Brennan, Kefren making the run. And now slid through to Joseph who's in behind. Sarkic thought about coming and retreated and it doesn't matter anyway because Joseph is on the score sheet once again. Now in reality, I'd like to get my starters like Kefren, Kareem and Joseph off it with that midweek game in mind and that third goal will seal it. We can make our subs, give them a little bit of a breather before we travel to London to take on West Ham. 3-1 and the points should now be in the bag. Oh, is that inside? It is. And a lovely piece of skill by Kvarat Skelia. Sees Nottingham Forest awarded a penalty. Victor Christensen, the former Leicester man, will pick up a yellow card. It was a lovely piece of skill by Kvarat Skelia. And he will now have the chance to seal the victory as Kvarat Skelia with the Penenka. Puts the cherry on top of the icing on the cake. A brilliant fourth. He won the penalty with a beautiful bit of skill. And he dispatches it in the same manner. 4-1, game over. So, part two of our triple header this week in the Premier League as we travel to the London Stadium. And West Ham have acquired a very, very good side in this career mode. And they're currently sat in sixth place in the Premier League having a very very good season and after the trouble that Wolves put us through in the previous game I'm expecting another tough one here against the Hammers. We've got Harvey Elliott and Smith Rowe playing in behind in their attack and Magic Mike Mignan in there as well who I hate playing against and couldn't save that one from Joseph but he's denied by the woodwork. Cross comes back in and is cleared by West Ham. West Ham here looking to create their first chance of the game. Here's Harvey Elliott, who's grown into a real good little player in this save. Look to play it across, and Chilwell slides in to prevent the goal. Good start this from both sides. Corners played in. Kvarat Skellia will be able to bring it away, and we could have a potential break on here. It's into Joseph, who's looking to take on Pereira. Comes infield still. Joseph, it's a good run and a decent strike on his weaker right foot, which is pushed behind by Mike. Addy Amy swings the corner in. Torres can't get a clean connection on it. It will come out to 
Kvarat Skelia, his shot is blocked. Now it's Kefren Turam and his effort from a tight angle. I thought he was offside. Pushed over once again by Mike. Corner swung in from the other side. Torres attacks it. And again, this man always causing me problems. Johnson's ball in, this time to the near post. It's over the head of Joseph. Brennan can swing one to the back stick again. Really well defended under the crossbar. And finally, West Ham will clear. Well, still tied at 0-0 at the break. Mainly due to one man, Mike Mignan has been absolutely superb for West Ham in that first 45 minutes. Not many teams are able to keep us out for long. So we'll see how long the Hammers can keep it up for here as Cuellar down the right-hand side is dispossessed by Ben Chilwell. Now Brennan looks over the top for Kvarat Skelia. Comes infield and lays it off to Brennan Johnson. Oh, it's a great strike. Maybe not quite in the corner. And Mike again is there to turn it away. Brennan swings the corner in. Addy Amy looking to attack it. Kvarat Skellia will fancy a goal. Oh, it's brilliant. And he's finally started to find his feet in Nottingham. Kvarat Skellia, the Georgian, with an absolute perler. And this one is worth another look. Initially, it looks like he might not quite have got it out of his feet. But then picks it up and bends an absolute peach into that top corner. Playing with some confidence. Won and scored the penalty in brilliant fashion in the last game. And now might just clip the crossbar on its way through. But Kvarat Skellia with his fourth in the Premier League this year. Gives Forrest a hard 4-1-0 lead here. Andre Silva, they've gone very, very attacking here, the Hammers. And Andre Silva with a brilliant ball through. Romero's not got there. And Mendes makes a little bit of an unorthodox save. And not just looking to hold on to the ball, Mendes wants to get us on the attack. Kvarat Skellia into the penalty area, looking for his second of the game. And again, denied by man of the match, Mike Mignan. Corners played short to Joseph, and now Kenneth Taylor on the edge. Taylor will hit one, and it ripples the side netting. Here's Hoibieg on the edge. Still Pierre-Emil Hoibieg. A little bit panicked at the back, and Esteban makes a big save. Mike is up for the corner, as this will be the last throw of the dice. It's deep, and Taylor gets something on it, and that will do it. A very difficult 1-0 win away at the London Stadium, and it would have been more if it weren't for Mike Mignan, a brilliant man of the match display from the Frenchman. But we get the better of Moyes' side and pick up another huge three points. Right, so our final game in this uh, treble header in the space of a week is struggling Leeds United at home. I have made some changes again, similarly to the Wolves fixture, as we have got that Carabao Cup quarterfinal coming against Newcastle next, and it is in midweeks. The boys look just as fresh as ever, as now Kareem Adeyemi finds Brennan Johnson, and Joseph in the middle to tap home. It's calamity at the back for Leeds. And it sort of sums up how they were in the Premier League last season. Really, really poor defending from Leeds for that opening goal. But here they come on the attack. And I'll be honest, it's, it's been the sides that have been able to hold us out for long periods of time that have really caused us trouble. As soon as you give us a goal and Leeds really did give it to us, you're, you're, you're in trouble because we will continue to come forward, create and score just as we have there, and Leeds in free fall, as we saw with Watford away at Vicarage Road in the first game of the episode. If you give us that first goal early, we'll keep coming, we'll keep scoring. You need to hold out against this Nottingham Forest side, and Leeds are not doing that here. 2-0, and this could get messy. Corner for Leeds United here, which will be swung into the middle, and it's a brilliant save by Mendes. How good has the Spaniard been this year? Mudrick will swing another delivery into the middle. Lacroix this time. Mendes needs a bit of help by Austin Bryan, and Leeds United, who have stemmed the flow a little bit since our second, 
Still feeling they can get back into it and get something out of the game. Leeds United free kick whipped into the back post. We've won the first header, but not the second. And Esteban looking to hold on to that clean sheet. He has been forced into a few saves in this second half. And that's going to be a free header. And again, Austin Bryan, the man to clear it off the line. And Mendes will pick up the second ball. We've been a little bit sloppy in this second half. We have made quite a few changes. We've got a rotated 11 out there. But Leeds United have done well to hang on in there. And they have created a few opportunities of their own. Well, I'll tell you what. It wasn't the prettiest to second halves. But it was bloody well effective. A lot of rotation in that second half. Lots of subs disrupting the flow. But we did well to hold on. Leeds huffed and puffed. But it's another clean sheet with a pretty makeshift back four. No chill well. Uh, Javi Schlager playing on the left in the Pal Torres role. And Ben Godfrey stepping in for Romero. So three of our regular back four out and it's another clean sheet for Mendes regardless. Damage was done in the first half. We saw it out in the second and all focus turns to St. James's Park in the Carabao Cup quarterfinal on Wednesday night. So this fixture against Newcastle ridiculously is actually being played on Christmas Day. But that victory in the previous one against Leeds does confirm that we will be top on Christmas. Which if you don't know in the Premier League is a great omen for going on to lift the championship at the end of the season. I don't know what the full statistics are, but it's a very, very high chance that if you're top at Christmas, you go on to win the championship. Not every time, but more times than not. So it's still pretty tight. You can see ourselves and Liverpool way out ahead of the, uh, the rest of the pack, but with uh, one game to go until the halfway stage, which we'll see at the end of this episode, away at the King Power against Leicester, it is definitely Nottingham Forest title to lose. Still unbeaten, although there is a long, long way to go still. So welcome to a very cold and snowy St. James's Park here. Luckily, we're playing in the yellow kit, so we should hopefully have no issues with visibility. We have made a few changes today, although we have still got a very, very strong lineup out there. We're not quite a full strength. Uh, we've got Diallo and Cali Muendo coming into our forward line. And also Nicolo Ravella starts in midfield. And he's going to have a crack here, Ravella from range, held by Robert Sanchez. And to our former player, David Costa, now Montero. Good ball back to Costa and Pau Torres playing catch up. And I think he did get something on the shot, which is smothered by Mendy. Kvaraskelia does so well there. Brennan. Kefren in support. Lovely reverse ball. Kefren Turam has to score. And in the form that he's been in in the first half of this season, you'd have put your money on him finding the net. Hits it straight at Robert Sanchez. And Newcastle survive an absolute let off. Corner swung in. Pau Torres looking to attack it. Kefren nods down. And Kali Muendu's strike is blocked behind. It's been a quiet first half. And we're tied at 0-0 at the break. Good ball into space for Gonzalez. Strong tackle by Romero. And Kefren brings it forward. Still Kefren Turam driving into space. Kefren Turam all the way. What a goal. And it's that man again. It's a brilliant solo goal from Kefren. And again, he pops up with a, a massive goal for this Nottingham Forest side. Just driving into the space. And on his weaker left foot, drills it home past Sanchez to give Forest the lead here at St. James's. We could be on our way to the semi-final as Kefren gets his second in the cup. And there is that whistle. And we do make it through with a slender one-goal victory. Not our usual free-flowing attacking football, but we do make it through to the Carabao Cup semi-finals. Newcastle put up a good fight, but didn't create a lot. And Kefren Turam's goal 
will see us head to that two-legged semi-final affair. So one final game in the league to close out the episode and the calendar year of 2030 as we head to the King Power to take on Leicester City. But I believe we have had some big draws in the uh, two domestic cup competitions. So in the Carabao Cup semi-finals, we will be taking on... It's Manchester United and the other two-legged semi-final will be contested between Brentford and Manchester City. And I believe we will also have had our draw for the FA Cup third round. Now, this is the big one. We will be taking on... It's Queen's Park Rangers away from home. That is a really interesting game because Loftus Road is actually in FIFA. I'm really looking forward to travelling to Loftus Road. Lots to come in the next episode with the domestic cups. But before we get there, let's close out 2030 with hopefully another victory in the Premier League as we reach the halfway stage. Efren looking to create the first opportunity. Here's Kareem Adeyemi in behind. It's trademark Kareem Adeyemi. A quick move from Forrest inside the first five minutes. And Kefren Turam slides it through. And Kareem Adeyemi off that right-hand side. Bends it home brilliantly on his left peg. Goal at number 12 of the season. Brennan. Joseph on the run, what a brilliant ball. And Joseph with the dink, it's a beautiful second. That is a special goal. It's a wicked ball through by Brennan Johnson. And the touch invites the keeper off his line. And Joseph picks his head up and goes, thank you very much. Lifts it over the top of the keeper. And Nottingham Forest fly into an early two goal lead at the King Power. Brennan, lovely turn of pace. And Brennan could be away to seal the victory for Forrest. Brennan Johnson, good save. Corner, Kareem. Into Pau Torres. Oh, he is back. That is outrageous from Pau Torres. What a servant he has been in this career mode. And I think that is the best goal he has ever scored in his career. He scored a few worldies for us. But that is the best from Pau Torres. And this is worth a second look. Over his shoulder. And the man on the line doesn't really cover himself in glory. But Pau Torres with... <laughs> Look how high he gets. That is special from the Spaniard. Still doing it at, I think, 34 years of age. Now, what a goal. Points are in the bag. So, guys, I want to do, and I've been, uh, I've been planning really ever since the series began to do at the end a sort of a, a team of the save as we view so many different players at different clubs i want to do a, a squad of like the best 11 or possibly the best the best starting 11 and we might do a bench as well of the best players from the entire save and it's fair to say that pal torres will be in there at center back he has been absolutely immense in this save such a good player at multiple clubs as well so yeah pal torres will definitely be in the team of the save let me know in the comments if there's anyone you would like to see and your reasoning for that some names you'd imagine will fill themselves in but if there's any hidden shouts or players that you think deserve a place in the team of the entire save let me know and there is the full-time whistle. It's another clean sheet for Mendes and the boys at the back. What a season they are all having back there. A lot of headlines for the forward players. Addy, Amy, Johnson, Leahy. But the boys at the back have been absolutely superb. And it'll be Pal Torres with the headlines this week. So guys, that will do it for today's episode. Another brilliant one, jam-packed with lots of games, lots of goals. And as you can see, Liverpool still keeping pace with us at the top of the Premier League table. Just four points the gap, despite us being almost flawless with 17 wins and two draws from our first 19 games. It's been a brilliant start, but Liverpool, as I say, fighting against us all the way. 
that will do it for today guys but we will be back in the next one with the carabao cup semi-final the fa cup third round draw away at qpr and lots more games in the premier league as we look to crack on and remain unbeaten for the entire season i hope to catch you in the next episode very soon and peace <laughs>